on Nitro Science, it's me the Nitro General here and today this is going to be the first video in a new series of videos that I'm really excited about making because like I said I've been in my other videos I've been having a little bit of trouble thinking of content to put out for you guys. I've made a lot of top fives and uh, Pokemon videos and shit but I just and you know game reviews and stuff but just there's there comes to a limit when there's just not any Pokemon videos that I can make really without like having a capture card or something and um the top five ideas and like i said if you have any ideas put them down below because i really do need some but there's just not enough games and stuff for me to review either but you know one thing that's cheaper than games is movies and um if you're anything like me you love movies i am kind of a movie fanatic um i go to see movies all the time I am a Diamond member of the Regal Crown Club. Um, that's the only place that's around here that I go to see movies. Let me know where you go to see your movies down below because I'd really like to know. I go to the Regal Cinemas. That's really the only place around here that plays. Plus, we have like one drive-in that's still open. And we have a couple drive-ins that's still open in our area. but And that's where I go into it in the summer. But, um, but yeah, so let me know. But today, I saw a couple new movies. I'm going to be doing one in a video... And, and another one in another video. And plus, I have actually four videos coming out for you guys tonight. What? Yeah, four videos. Because I saw two movies today. And I watched two movies on Netflix last night to review for you guys. So, and they are all, they were two Netflix, Netflix originals. So, I thought maybe I'd make a review for you guys. But, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now, these videos are probably going to be a little bit shorter because I'm going to do my best to not spoil anything about the movies. Not even do my best. I'm not going to spoil anything because um, I want you guys to go see these movies or I don't want you guys <laughs> to go see these movies. But, um, I even wait till you can decide if you want to buy them when they come out, rent them when they come out. But, um, but yeah, so other than that, the movie I'm going to be discussing in today's video, as you can see by the title, is... Five feet apart. Now, um, I'm not very much for drama movies. I mean, sometimes I go because there are a few drama movies, as you'll probably see with a lot of the movie reviews that I do, is that I do enjoy a good, you know, tearjerker sometimes because it, that just makes for good movie. But when I when I go to watch a movie, like when, when I want to watch a movie, I don't usually pick a drama. I usually pick a comedy or a horror um, but even horror gets a little old after a while because you already know what's going to happen. So usually comedies and sometimes actions depending on what movies they are. But so usually dramas are a lot of times the movies that you watch one time and you don't watch again unless you watch it with like a family member because they haven't seen it. But so today I decided to go four or five feet apart because as you guys probably know, the one of the main characters in this movie is Cole Sprouse from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody from Riverdale, you know, he's been in so much, he's been, he was throughout my whole childhood, you know, I watched Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and then there was the Sweet Life on Deck, and, you know, I, I love those TV shows, and I loved Riverdale, and when, I actually didn't know he was in Riverdale until I started watching Riverdale, because I, I didn't want to spoil anything for me, so I waited for it to come out on Netflix, watched the first season, I heard that voice, and I was like, hey, I know who that is, that's Cole Sprouse, er, yeah, and it was Cole Sprouse, and, um, I was so excited when I saw he was going to be in this movie. And let me tell you guys, do not go to see this movie if you don't want to cry. Because, let me tell you, I'm a man. I, um, I use the word man very, very loosely in this, in this sense. But I'm a man. And um, society has, you know, determined that men are supposed to cry. But let me tell you guys, let me tell you something. There, today's Thursday. It was, I'm on spring break, so I didn't have class today, so that's why I decided to go. I had a couple of free movie tickets to uh, burn up, and uh, there was really nobody in the theaters. There was, like, two other, I think it was a couple, and then, like, one other, and, like, another, maybe two couples or something behind me. I was sitting in, like, the second row front in the second section. So I was, like, at the perfect, that's my go-to spot when I go to the movies. You know, you can put your feet up and everything. And by the end of that movie, guys... I was blubbering like a freaking baby, and um, I couldn't help it. It was such a, it was such a good movie. If you guys don't know what it's about, it's about two two um, star-crossed lovers who have cystic fibrosis, a 
a, um, a disease that doesn't allow you to use your lungs very well. Now, a lot of times you can get lung transplants, but they're not, um, they're not like in plentiful, you know, people don't always get them. And the girl in this movie has cystic, cystic fibrosis, and she's waiting for new lungs. Now, Cole Sprouse's, or not Cole, Dylan Sprouse's, um, yes, Cole Sprouse, what am I thinking? Duh. Cole Sprouse's character has a different type of cystic fibrosis. I don't really remember the name, but it's a different type that basically won't allow for a replacement of the lungs. Um, and he's in an experimental trial at the same hospital as she is. And, you know, they fall in love. And obviously you have to stay six feet apart. But she ends up saying, you know, I want to take back. You know, it's taken so much from me. I want to take back one foot, so she takes, like, I, I'm not gonna spoil it, but, um, so basically, they stay five foot apart at all times, and, you know, they end up falling in love, and everything like that, and, um, uh, honestly, it was, it was kind of a weird, it was kind of a different, you know, weird, uh, subject for a movie, you know, there hasn't really been a lot of movies where people have had cystic fibrosis, and there hasn't been a lot of movies where people who fall in love actually have, like, terminal diseases and um I know there's been the fault in our stars which is really the only one I can think of where the two main characters have diseases but they can't touch you know so that's the really really cool concept is that you can fall in love with somebody without touching them you know without having sex without kissing them without holding hands without feeling each other you can fall in love with someone, which is really a strange concept for today's society because I feel like love is very based on physical contact, whether that's kissing, whether that's intercourse, whether that's whatever it is, it's always based on some kind of feeling. Rather than in this movie, it's purely based off of, you know, not physical feelings, but mental feelings, like heart, you know, they they actually love each other for them. They don't love each other because of, you know, something about them, like, physically. And they that's what I really, really liked about the whole concept of the movie was that they can fall in love without falling in love that people today, how people today would fall in love is what I'm trying to say. And um, so, that, so that's why that was what really, really drew me to the movie. And, um, I don't know if you guys, um, have ever felt this feeling, but when you watch a movie and it just gets to a point where you know it's going to end, but you don't want it to end. I mean, sometimes you really want a movie to end, or sometimes you don't mind if it ends because it ends up in a happy and you're like, that's awesome. But sometimes you get so emotionally invested in the characters in a movie that when you know it's going to end, you get so emotional because you don't want it to end. You wish it was like a TV series where these characters would keep re re reappearing, you know? Um, and... That's that's what happened with me. I did not want this movie to end, guys. There was just so much action and so much drama and so much tragedy and it's just it's just such a good movie. And um yeah, it, it really, 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 really is. It is probably one of the best movies that I have seen in theaters recently, and I highly recommend you guys to go see it. Um I really, really do. Out of five stars, I'm going to give this movie a 4.5. The only reason it wouldn't get a solid five stars is because it's really hard for me to give a movie a solid five stars. There was a couple corny parts and a couple parts that kind of were like, eh. You know, I don't really know how that would actually work and stuff like that. And um, But, it, you know, th it didn't take away enough from the movie to make me not like it. You know, so that's why I'm giving it a 4.5. It is probably one of the best movies that I have seen in such a long time. And I highly suggest if you guys are thinking about going to see that, to go and see it. it. Cole Sprouse is amazing in the movie. His acting is really great. The other girl in the movie is a fantastic actor. The other boy in the movie, too. I haven't seen him in anything else. But he is even such a great actor. Um, you know, and they're, everybody in this whole movie is just... They do such a good job. They handle this whole cystic fibrosis thing now I don't have CF so I don't really I can't really relate to the characters but if somebody does have CF and has experienced something like this I feel like this would be a great movie for them to watch because it really does a really good job I think 
there's a lot of TV shows and movies that are handling subjects like suicide and diseases and cancer and stuff like that, that they are handling it so well and they're putting it out there for people to see. And something that I just love when TV shows and movies do something that they have never done because a lot of people are too scared to touch on the subject for the fear of the retaliation of the the people. And um, so I think they handled this movie great. I think the acting is great. I think the production is great. Um, yeah, I just love this movie. So, um, my final verdict is, like I said, 4.5, and I highly suggest you go, you guys go see this one in theaters if you love drama. Now, if you guys want to wait till it comes out to rent, then I highly suggest even renting it. But if you love movies like drama like this and romantic, it even has a little bit of comedy aspect to it at points, but nothing that even takes away from the drama aspect, I would highly recommend going to see this movie. It is such a great movie, such a powerful movie. It leaves, it leaves an impact on you. I even saw another movie after that, and I am still thinking about it right now because it was just such a good movie but without further ado that is going to be it for this video so if you guys enjoyed this movie review make sure to leave likes down below make sure you comment down below where you see your movies like i said give me suggestions of other videos to make i do top fives i do rant rooms i do movie reviews now i do game reviews i do pokemon videos <laughs> um and leave me down other movies down below that you want me to go see to review um, I can tell you what, there are a few movies that I am positively going to see. And the next month, there are three movies that I am going to see in theaters. With that being Shazam, where he is my favorite DC superhero. I didn't make it to the premiere last weekend, but I am going to see it on opening day on April 5th. I am going to see Hellboy coming out on the 15th. And I am going to see Avengers coming out three days after my birthday on April 26th. So, uh, but I do have three other videos coming out for you guys after this one. So if you guys like this, so if you guys are excited, make sure to hit that like button and go check them out. I'd really, really appreciate it. But you heard it, make sure to hit that bell too, just in case, um, you don't want to miss one of my videos. But other than that, guys, I will see you whenever I see you next. Night General out. Peace.